What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Outgroove. It's me, your host, Andre Salazar. Today, we're going to talk about Logic's new album called Vinyl Days. This is a channel where we talk about audio equipment, music, a lot of hip-hop, because that's what I'm into. I have other channels, The Art of Comics, about my illustration. I'm starting a new film project, so go take out my uh, Patreon to see that. Now, on to the show. This is a breath of fresh air. After listening to that new Drake album, never mind, okay? Honestly, never mind, okay? After listening to that for days, I am so glad to listen to Logic's new album. Uh, Logic, last album with Def Jam. And um, this is what I like. This is boom bap rap on vinyl, scratching, sampling, old school Beastie Boys. I mean, this is like, it's good. I like it. This is this is actually kind of my jam. This is what I really like. This is the kind of stuff that I kind of hoped that Drake would have done. Clearly, that's not his style. Clearly, it's not what he wants to do. Fine. I respect that. But um, this is one of my favorites of Logic. Uh, Robert's been doing a lot of these, like Bobby Tarantino, one, two, three. He supposedly, um, you know, retired. He had this interview with actually Anthony Fantano, the Needle Drop channel here on YouTube. And uh, that was enlightening. This is his talking to Anthony about like his process and where he's at emotionally and mentally and what he's focused on, you know. And this just has a lot of great classic beats. I love the beats. I love the music heavily produced by him and also partner six. Uh, there's some great features with Action Bronson, another member of that album, Cockadrillo. He just came out with that a little while ago. Really like that. 30 tracks, 111 minutes. I mean, this is great. This is like beefy, a lot of content. There's a lot of skits. Still curious about the history of skits. I still say it goes to vaudeville or you know, that kind of era. I don't know, but there's no skits in like country music or rock and roll, just in rap. I always found it fascinating. Let me know in the comments, the history. Where did these skits come from? Did like Nelly Mel do skits? Like I'm trying to think of those old Africa Bambada do skits. I don't think they did. Who, what, what was the first rap album? Did you do skits? Don't say the Fresh Prince, but don't say <laughs> the Fresh Prince and uh, JSJ. Okay. Um, Yes, let's talk about track eight, Bleed, Bleed It. Uh, yes, it sounds like Beastie Boys. Yes, it is a homage of homages to the Beastie Boys. The sampling is Beastie Boys, the beats is the rapping, but that's okay. I ain't got a problem with that, you know? Some people don't like Van, uh, what's that band that's like, Le that's like Led Zeppelin, the Van Fleet, what is it? Greta Van Fleet? Some people don't like Greta Van Fleet because they're like, Oh, it's just like Led Zeppelin. Just listen to Led Zeppelin. Okay, but you know what? It's still good. If there was a band that sounded just like Morrissey and the Smiths, I'd listen to it because I like Morrissey and the Smiths. Same thing here, Logic. Yeah, it sounds like Beastie Boys, that track specifically. So what? I still like it. It's good. <laughs> Does he bring us something new to the table? Well, you might have me there. And maybe he doesn't bring something wholly new. Maybe he's not really synthesizing a new formula, but I think that's okay if it's entertaining and you enjoy it. You know, if it's like music that you like, I think that solves its purpose. It doesn't have to be pushing. I know I always talk about experimental and pushing things. It doesn't, I'm, maybe I'm walking back a little bit. You don't have to push into some new territory if the stuff you're doing is really good. There you have it. Uh, La Don does another track, track nine, mentioning a little bit of the needle drop. And then, of course, on track 23, it's the needle drop, and it's actually sampling Anthony Fantano's, like, text, not text message, but, like, voicemail conversation with Logic, which is fascinating and kind of meta, you know, and, and opening the, the fourth wall on some of that stuff. There's Michael Rappaport. Does a, that was, like, pretty fun. Uh, freaking... Um, uh, Morgan Freeman opens this thing up. Nardwar? I love Nardwar, dude. They got Nardwar up in this. 
I loved it. I thought it was super fun. Um, yeah, this is so much better than than Drake, his latest two albums. It's better than Certified Baby Lover, whatever the hell that's called. It's better than this, honestly, never mind. It's It's better than a lot of the rap stuff that I've been, you know, reviewing unfortunately oh way better than the post malone one i'm gonna don't get me started so um did i like it yes am i somewhat biased because i like those old school kind of like vinyl you know beats and that kind of stuff yeah i mean i like mad libs i like this guy i like blue i like exile i like the i like that kind of like type of La Range, you know, I like that type of hip hop and that kind of music. So yeah, I'm, I gravitate more towards that, but I think this guy does a great job. There you go. I ain't got much more to say to that. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it four biscuits. Boom, boom, boom. Don't do those very often, but yeah, I thought it that good. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. What's the, am I right or am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe to the channel. Again, check out my Patreon for my film work and things I'm doing as well as the art of comics. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.